Welcome everyone back to Trails of Cold Steel. I'm Mike. We are here in Garelia Fortress. I think we're just a, we're just gonna walk around the place, get to know it, talk to some folks before we start with the rest of the day. Yeah, let's just walk around. What do we have here? Yeah, letters from family, I imagine, can really boost someone's morale up. Food is very important for happiness, you know? Sometimes it makes all the difference in the world. Hi, Emma. Which? It's a pretty big place. Uh-oh, it's the cat. So Emma's still not opening up. Hmm? Uh, maybe it's chapter 6 before she opens up for reals. Hmm, no one here. Alright, let's consult the map on where the other folks are. There's someone in this big room over here. It's our teach. That's right. And it looked like our jet lamp and the things you were summoning for our practical exam. Ah, there you go. That's the evil secret society in Tracing the Sky. I don't remember, is it Aurelia? Whatever that floating continent is, or city, whatever that was. That's where these things come from, I'm guessing, from what I remember. I wonder if we'll see the bright sibling slash couple here in Trails in Cold Steel. It's our BFFs, Laura and uh, Fee. Okay. Um, that should be expect, not accept. Well, she's a Jaeger, so she's always looking for weak spots, points of attack, lapses in security, things like that. It's a useful ability to have, that kind of sense. Alright, there's two more up here. Let's go up then. It's very uh, serious looking, the structure. Alright, it's Nightheart and Walter. Sure, sure. Always underestimate us. All right, a hole. What have you? What have you got to say about that, Nightheart? Just allowed him to disrespect our school. Uh, 
Why, what's in the command center? That just makes me more curious to try and sneak in. Alright, let's go back and head down. So we've only seen Emma, Laura, and V. None of the boys so far. We've also seen uh, Sarah, but she's not part of class 7. I wonder if Elliot is playing music. Yeah, let's go to the barracks then. Hi. Oh, we can't enter the barracks. Alright. Let's go back. This looks like a, a level from Metal Gear Solid 1. It, fi it fits the color scheme. Everything looks gray. Metallic. That's just like the first Metal Gear Solid game. But well, most of it anyway. So there were some outdoor areas, but you know what I mean. Uh, okay. There's a lot of folks over there. Let's, let's get going into the tank garage. It's a lot of tanks. And those tanks look similar to the ones we fight in uh, Trails in the Sky. I, w I remember there was a scene where a tank was you know, bringing Rampage in the t to, to a certain town. We had to stop it. Then one of the Reapers shows up. It's a good game. Pretty long, but yeah. There's wow! I didn't expect this pairing, Elliot and Alyssa. We haven't met the dad yet. Well, yeah, that's. They're trying to justify their purchase, like the console warriors, right? They're comparing your PS4s to your Xbox Ones and your Xbox One X to your PS4 Pros. Alright, so that's it for this area. We can't go to the command area. Let's see if we'll be blocked. Okay, maybe not yet. That might trigger cutscene or something I think I already talked to you let's go here that's a big opening we haven't seen Gaius Usus, Machias uh, Milliam and Crow great outdoors at least they get to see some sunlight every day unlike those stationed in submarines it's gotta be depressing hey look they they gave them different hair color to distinguish them you don't usually see that in most RPGs I'm sure their their twins will show up in other places Okay. It's a really vast place. It is the the biggest security show of force against Calvert. There's guys and uses. Everything's laid back in uh, Zender Gate. Hmm. 
You just have to trust it, you know? No use worrying. It doesn't help. To uh, Toa is in there, right? Maybe we'll talk to her and she'll relay? I doubt it though. Crossbell to be part of Erebonia, that's crazy. Right, we have two more folks to look out for. Well, that's Melian for you. Oh, this is the end of the road, alright. If only you knew that if she's really tied to the Chancellor, maybe you'd shut up about it. Soldier. Why are you raising your... Okay, I thought... For some reason, I thought he was raising his hand, but it's his rifle. That looked weird for a sec there. Like, you know, like the million gesture of raising the hand that looks similar to me. Alright. We haven't been to the central freight platform. It's open. It's open. So Crow and Machias are probably here. Or not. Where are those guys? So they're not here. So th this game in particular is a very linear RPG. Uh huh. Well, I suppose Trails in the Sky was also very linear. You know, each chapter you only have one town. Like this, the field study. It's not an open world kind of thing. Anyway, where are those two? Modern pool? Have you been there? Where's Marcus and Crow? I, I don't think I've talked to them yet, right? In the last episode, I don't think we did. Maybe they're here in the modern pool. No, this is where we were. Huh. Now I'm confused. Where are you? I don't think we have a big town here. A big map to check. If we go left, what's in here? Okay, that's where they are. It's a good looking airship. Is that from Liberal? Hi there. Oh, we, we don't know what Jirai looks like. Oh, it's a gambling place, huh? That looks interesting. Crow's getting serious here. Taxation, then how the government uses that money, it's always a complicated topic. I think that's everyone, right? I don't remember it missing anyone. That should be all. It's 
It's a big tour of the place. It's a self tour, actually. So I, I was wrong earlier. This is the border to Crossbell, not Calvert. That's why they're really showing a strong sense of uh, security here. All right, time for the military exercises. We're just gonna watch, not participate. It's what I remember anyway. Let's find out. What are we going to do? Are we fighting the military? All right, we have our tanks, our APCs. I think they're a combination of both. How do you look outside? Is there a, a glass window in front? Is there a camera system with a monitor inside? What are we doing here? Here we go. What is up? We out, we're out here in the fields. Probably gonna lay waste to the environment. But it will look cool. Military exercises. We even have a lot of lights here. This is being recorded. Is that Daddy? Daddy Elliot? There you go, he looks pretty tough. Craig! <laughs> Look at the change in facial expression. Pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty cute of him. Hug him out. Yeah. The old man's a softy. He's a sweet dad. Yeah, he's a sweet dad. Good for Elliot. <laughs> yeah, this Craig guy is pretty cool in my book. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I'm Lieutenant General Olaf Craig. Hard to take him seriously with a name like Olaf, especially, you know, what Frozen did with the name. Major shoes to fill. Okay. Vehicular combat. We're gonna destroy the old models. Are we having a combat using vehicles? This is like Suikoden with its war games.
And I think we're just gonna watch. Time to destroy some tanks. That's a fun activity. Still alive. But oh, these are the old ones. One hit on the new ones and they're scrap metal. But that's hardly fair. Airstrikes. That that airship looks like it's nasty indeed. That's a fun and noisy exercise to watch. Yeah, pretty impressive. Oh no. Okay, I thought he was gonna transform, but he just felt his power. This threat is inside me. I can summon it at will. Where's the mushroom cloud? Where's the smog that will surround the camp for a while? And it's another peaceful evening here in Erebonia. It would have been cool. I don't think the train passes by the training grounds though. Because if you're just passing by and you saw some military exercises, that'll be cool. That'll be a nice thing to visit every once in a while. But of course, I doubt it's going to pass by because sometimes those training, they involve uh, confidential equipment, classified weapons, whatever you want to call them. So yeah, it's probably not smart to do that. So they're scared of Nightheart. Hashed beef? Is that... What does that look like? Yeah, it looks pretty nice actually. I'd eat that. Of course, during war you don't need your arts, you just need your combat skills, your survival skills, your instincts. <laughs> That's true. Ah, the railway guns. I remember that in the intro. Are we gonna go back to that time and place pretty soon? There's Sarah. Well, she did say, right? That we can't eat without her. Here we go. Ooh. 
Wow, that's one way to look at us. I wonder who's a future leader here. They don't have any microwave yet in this time period. Looks like we have a pretty loaded schedule for tomorrow. Hmm, real weekends. Unless something happens during the wee hours. Let's hope that's not the case. But Comrade G, get in. I know it has something in store for us. That's coming up, I think, maybe tomorrow? Oh. Here we go, something's gonna happen here, that's why they're showing us this scene. Uh oh. Okay, it's an email. Start working. Hmm. It's nice they show us that scene to at least see the common folk working in the military, their plight, their troubles, their concerns, even for a brief moment like that. Right, we have a save point here. That's a great place to call the episode. That's some pr pretty impressive artillery that they got there. And I have a bad feeling something's coming up soon. Especially whatever the G-Man has in store for us. We'll find out. Maybe next time here in Trails of Cold Steel.